all I have with me today, I gotta be resourceful, I have a black eyeliner pencil. I have a few black eyeliner pens, just in case I run out of ink. Um, I don't have white face paint, but I do have a very light color of concealer, which I'm gonna put all over. I'm gonna set it with a very light colored powder. And I just have a few dark eyeshadows, especially a black, which is the one I'm going to need the most. And some brushes and a blush, just in case I'm feeling like, uh, you know, adding a little sass to the look. So what we're gonna do first is just get this light color all over Jocelyn's face. So of course I have to ask for yeah. us people who are not the best at makeup, including okay. myself, because I'm terrible at makeup, is this something that everyone can try? You think it's pretty easy? This is very user friendly, and I'm gonna give you guys step-by-step -step instructions, plus I feel like the less um, ingredients, if you will, the less supplies that you need, the easier the project, so. Perfect. Awesome. Very relaxing, I could fall asleep. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> I saw that little grin on your face. I didn't know if it was, if I was being too rough or just. Oh no, no, it feels great. Good. All right, so I've got this concealer all over. We didn't go super crazy and it's not white. So she just has this kind of lighter flush over her skin, which looks cool. Now I'm going to go in with a flat brush and we're gonna go to town on this dark smoky oh, eye, which so Jocelyn excited. doesn't rock too often, but no. we're gonna have some fun with it. Yes. And Clarissa is the ultimate makeup artist, so I will always go to her, whether it's for beauty or mm -hmm. for Halloween. Or a scary, or a scary Halloween yeah. look. I'm scared to look because I want it to be a surprise. Okay, it'll be a surprise <laughs> then. No cheating, no okay. cheating. Okay. okay, go ahead and close your eyes, and I'm gonna tap down this black eyeshadow. Typically, you want to do, when you're messing with the black, you want to do the black first before all the face stuff because it can spill and stain the skin. But since we're giving you a dead skeleton look anyway, okay, please spill. Even. So by putting the dark on the inside, I'm creating kind of like a either mean or kind of emotional, like, mm, like nice jacked face. So we'll kind of okay. see how this turns out. I like to just go with the flow. And that's what we're doing. All right, now I'm gonna have you look up towards the sky. This is gonna tickle a little bit. I'm gonna go right across the lash line with this black. And then we'll create the creepy jack nose, which are just the two nostrils. So I'm switching to my, oh, I think I'll use my pencil for this, the black pencil. All right guys, from here it gets really easy. I'm going to contour Jocelyn just a little bit. So I'm gonna take, instead of a black, I'm just gonna take like a dark brown and shade her cheeks a little bit to give that like caved in skull look. If you want, you can do this with the black. And of course that'll create a more dramatic and creepy look. All right, here is the crazy part guys. We're going to make the Jack smile. So Jocelyn already has lipstick on, I'm just gonna leave it be. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but didn't do a bad job actually. And from here, you just simply add your little kind of teeth marks. All right, you ready for the final product? I'm ready. <laughs> How cool! <laughs> hey. As expected, perfection, yeah. I love it. It's fun, it's different, and of course you gotta play the part, so mm -hmm. she's got the whole get up on, let's, let's read the whole outfit all together. All right. 